Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about beam steering and serial versus parallel feeds. So, what do you mean by beam steering? Beam steering is nothing but rotating the direction of radiation pattern without changing the direction of the plate. Okay. That is the main advantage of phased array antennas. I told you already this concept when I was discussing the phased array antennas introduction. Okay. In tracking radar, what we are doing in tracking radar, I will explain here. In tracking radar, what is the main drawback of the tracking radar? In tracking radar, we have not used the phased array antennas. One single antenna we have preferred to track the object okay so how the tracking is going to be done there one antenna is there like this okay and if this antenna is fixed and one target is moving either in this direction or in this direction until in the vicinity of this plate or nothing but antenna the target can be identified by the radar system suppose if the target is moving away from this out of the vicinity like in this direction or out of this direction this direction then the target cannot be identified by the antenna plate so in order to track that particular object we need to rotate the antenna plate in the direction in which the target is moving how the rotating can be done there i have explained with the help of servo mechanism okay every time we are calculating the angular error that angular error is given to the input of the servo motors servo motor then rotates the antenna plate in either azimuth direction or elevation direction depending upon the direction of the movement of the target this is the general or conventional way how the tracking could be done but rotating the antenna plate always how long it could be effective okay in order to rotate the antenna plate a servo mechanism has be have been used here here a servo motors have been used servo motors the input for this servo motor is angular error but servo whenever we are in, including uh, in introducing the uh, what is that uh, mechanical parts in the and electronics then definitely maintenance should be there if any wheel is not working again there will be a problem so definitely a continuous uh, maintenance should be there for this uh, servo motors so to avoid such things uh, we have to go for the phased array antennas or group of antennas the main purpose of phased array antennas is to transmit or receive the signal in particular direction whatever the direction you want to transmit either in the 90 degrees or 45 degrees or 60 degrees irrespective of the direction of antenna you can rotate the antenna radiation pattern in any direction okay without rotating the plate of the antenna that you have to keep the point in mind okay beam steering steering you know steering is nothing but rotating rotating so beam steering is nothing but the radiation pattern can be rotated in any direction without changing the direction of the antenna plate antenna plate is fixed here the direction of antenna where it is uh, incorporated that is fixed but the radiation pattern that is coming out from that radi uh, from that antenna can be rotated in any direction okay so steering can be done how this steering can be done steering can be done by taking the phase difference between the successive elements element is nothing but antenna here see this is the first element and this is the second element third element fourth element let us consider there are four antennas connected in group nothing but phased array antennas provided the phase difference between the successive elements is phi if you take the phase difference between these two that is phi if you take the phase difference between these two again it is phi if you take the phase difference between these two again it is phi so there should be a uniformity in the phase differences between the successive elements of the phase array antennas this phase difference will decide the direction of the <coughs> radiation pattern so phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into d sin theta the here theta is nothing but the direction in which the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted suppose this is the 
angle theta. So in this direction, the radiation pattern is going to be transmitted from the, all the antennas, not from one antenna, from all the antennas, the radiation pattern will be collectively going in this particular direction. Here also, it goes in this direction. So the successive elements, if it maintain, if they maintain a constant phase relation between them, then definitely the radiation pattern can be steered in any direction. Okay, uh, let us see with the graphical representation how the phase reference will direct the radiation pattern. See here, the first element is having no phase. The first element is having no phase. Second element is having a phase introduced via phase reference of delta phi. And third element is having 2 phi, 2 delta phi fourth element 3 delta phi, 4 delta phi, 5 delta phi and so on. If you calculate the phase difference between the successive elements, uh, there will be a uniformity in the phase difference like uh, delta phi minus 0, it is delta phi. Again, 2 delta phi minus delta phi, it is delta phi. 3 delta phi minus 2 delta phi, it is delta phi. Similarly, at the last phase, that is phi delta phi minus 4 delta phi, it is delta phi. So, for every element there should be a phase difference of delta phi constantly maintained that we have to keep that point in mind when we are constructing the phase array antennas okay and these are the power splitters here uh, below these antennas a power splitter is there that is used to transmit the power equally to all the elements okay and as well as the same power can also be received okay when we are talking about the transmitting purpose then power splitter is there and all powers uh, equally transmitted to all the elements and then they can be transmitted. During reception also all these can be collected and again they will be summed up. The phase reference in delta phi is given as delta phi is equal to 2 pi by lambda into d sin theta. d is nothing but here we are taking it as length. Okay, distance between the distance between the elements. See here it is indicated distance between the elements. Okay, L. sometimes in some textbooks it is uh, given as a D, in some textbooks it is given as L, whatever it is, it is the distance between the elements. So, 2 pi by lambda D sin theta or L sin theta, L is equal to D is equal to distance between the elements. Distance between the elements. Element is nothing but antenna here. In phased array antennas, generally element is said to be, uh, antenna is said to be element. Now see, normally the orientation will be like this, delta phi. If delta phi is equal to 0 degrees, what happens, there will be the radiation pattern going in the upward direction like this. Okay, that is normal to the plane, normal to the plane direction. So plane is nothing but like this, horizontally will be having plane. So the radiation pattern will be like this for phi, delta phi is equal to 0. For delta phi is equal to 0 degrees phase, then the direction of radiation pattern is normal to the plane of the antenna. Okay. And next, if delta phi is equal to 30 degrees, if delta phi is equal to 30 degrees, there will be some inclination in the, there will be some inclination in the direction of the radiation pattern. See, observe the figures from first to second. Again, if it is 60 degrees, there will be an orientation like this. Again, if it is 90 degrees, there will be an orientation like this. Again, if it is a delta phi is equal to more than that, like a 180 degrees and something beyond that, then definitely the radiation pattern is coming like this towards the plane. So, as we are changing the phase difference between the successive elements, definitely the radiation pattern will be oriented in that particular direction, like uh, a theta increases. This is the steering of a beam with respect to the phase difference between the successive elements. Coming to serial versus parallel feeds, serial feeds, parallel feeds. In the phase array antennas, the input for the antenna or the output from the antenna can be collected by a source. Okay, suppose I am talking about the input case. Let us consider all the antennas are working for the transmission purpose. Then how the each and every antenna is going to be fed with the input signal. Okay. Uh, there are generally two types of uh, feeding techniques available. 
that is nothing but generally two techniques available to give the input to the antennas they are serial feds serial feed and parallel feed serial feed means one after another first first element will be taking later second element third element and so on okay there are two types of, again in the serial feeds there are two types of uh, feeding techniques one is from the left hand side another one is from the right hand side see here in the first figure this is from the left hand side left feed the b figure shows right feed sorry center feed center feed okay see right hand left hand whatever it is both are same just the figures will be altered that's why it is not shown here and center feed and left hand feed is shown the input is given from this point input is given from this point what happens first the input is going to the first antenna or first element then what is the phase difference what is the phase that enters into the first element zero degrees phase no phase is there now we are introducing a phase difference component that gives a phase difference of introduces a phase difference of delta phi uh, sorry phi to that signal and again that signal enters into this second element with a phase of five degrees again this phi one more phi is introduced two phi will be here for the third again for the fourth three phi again for the fifth four phi like this we have different types of uh, number of antennas are going to be incorporated in in this serial feed with uh, constant phase incremental okay even if you calculate the phase difference between the success elements that is constant phi minus first one uh, two minus one so phi minus zero phi two phi minus phi phi so like that we need to consider see finally we should uh, uh, we should make the condition satisfy that the phase difference between the successive elements should be phi whatever the type of feeding technique you are using okay and the second one is take the center feed from the center feed you don't have any phase so zero degrees phase as you are going in the right hand side you will be having a incremental phase and as you are going in the left hand side you will be having a decremental phase okay like a axis when how you are drawing the x axis so 0 1 2 3 and so on and again on the left hand side 0 minus 1 minus 2 and so on like this the purpose of minus is when you are calculating the phase difference you should not violate the rule like phi see if you calculate 1 2 3 4 5 let us consider these are the names for this each and every one uh, one minus if you if you are taking 2 minus 1 the phase difference is 5 3 minus 2 the phase difference is 5 1 minus 4 0 minus of minus 5 what is the phase difference 5 again 4 minus 5 it is also 5 5 minus 5 minus of minus 2 5 it is 5 so when you are calculating the successive phase differences between the elements definitely it should satisfy the condition that it should be 5 this is the serial feed technique coming to the parallel feeds parallel feeds in the serial feed what happens in serial feed we are continuously giving the uh, phase shifters continuously giving the phase shifters with the same value with same value see phi here you give phi 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 serially we are giving the same phase introduction at in the transmission line but when you are talking about parallel feeds the phase has been introduced at each and every element itself individually so phase introduction phase introduction done individually individually at each element okay see the input is giving here that input passes through this one first what is the phase here now what is the phase that the first element is having phi what is the phase that the second element it is 2 phi if you calculate the phase difference again phi again from the third phase it is third element it is 3 phi fourth element is 4 phi and the phase difference is phi here also phase difference is phi okay so in the uh, in the serial fields we have given the phase shifters that is constant phase shifters uh, like phi 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 and so on but here we have used a different uh, technique of individually each element is having a phase phi 2 phi 3 phi and so on whatever it is 
suppose if n number of elements are there it is will n5 n5 this is the uh, what is that uh, phase has been introduced okay this is the parallel phase thank you